So this is my blog post for this week. I didn't send you a written blog post because unfortunately it got, it disappeared into the ether. I saved it, I published it on my website and it is absolutely gone. So I don't know what happened. I did try to call the my hosting company, they can't find it. So here we are on video. I thought it would be a lot easier to just talk you through it. So this week's blog post is how to set your, up your environment for success. And it's based on the idea that a lot of times when we try to make a change, we use um, willpower. We use our own minds to try to get through things and try to push through it. You know, we have an idea and then we try to motivate ourselves and we try to push through it. And that can only last for so long. So something that can really help is to set up your environment so that it's, you can more likely to be successful with what you're going to do. And this comes from an idea that I got in a book called Switch. It's by Dan and Chip Heath. And in the book, they talk about the driver, the elephant, and the path. So basically, the driver is the director. He's or she is the one who's directing the elephant down a path. And the director in this scenario is actually our conscious mind. It's the mind that comes up with all the great ideas. Yes, I'm going to lose weight. Yes, I'm going to exercise every day. Great. The director has a direction. He tells the elephant, she tells the elephant. And then the elephant, of course, is our subconscious mind. She's difficult to maneuver. <laughs> she wants to go, you know, where she wants to go. She's slow to change directions. And, you know, she's she's a lot to handle. So it's really hard to change the subconscious mind just by, you know, getting the dir director or the driver to direct her and motivate her. Because that's what you need to do is it's the motivation of the elephant to change direction. So a really easy way is to create a path that makes it easier for the elephant and the driver to both go down. So that's what shaping the path is all about. That's what I'm talking about when I say how to set up your environment for success. So for example, let's say you want to eliminate all sugar from your diet. So you want to set up your environment to cooperate with that idea. The best thing to do to set up your environment to shape your path would be to not buy anything that has any added sugar in it. That would be a really easy place to start. Of course, that is sometimes not the most practical thing. Sometimes we can't do that and that's okay. So we, we can't do that necessarily. Maybe we can reduce, but maybe we can't eliminate. So what can we do with those other things? So maybe we can put them somewhere out of reach or we can ask somebody to hide it in our house. We could do that. Or we could perhaps, we could um, just we could actually put out some fruit or some, you know, grapes or something on the counter so that we have a better choice that we can make. And we can even use like a friend or a coach, like in me, me in this case, that's what I do. I provide accountability to my clients. So it's somebody you can call when you feel like you're going to give into temptation. So it's, or you, that you have, and that you have to report to them and that can, you know, help create that path too, because you don't want to have to do that. So it's really interesting how you do this. There's so many ways to apply this. Uh, I'm using the example of eliminating sugar, but you can use it for the example of wanting to wake up every morning and let's say exercise. So to do that, you would, perhaps you would lay out all your clothes, your shoes, everything, get everything ready the night before, make it really easy when you get up to just get up and get going. And if you're working out in the house, just set up all of the equipment, your mat, anything that you need the night before, that could work. Or if you wanna meditate, uh, create a meditation space that is tempting to go to, it's easy to go to, and you, it's a nice and quiet. So something you can uh, easily want to do. Or let's say you wanna eat salad more often. So then why don't you, you know, stock up your fridge with some salads already prepared. Sometimes they sell them that way. It's nice and easy. You can buy prepared salads to make it easier for you to eat salad. Same thing with meals. We have lots of food services now like Good Food and Miss Fresh and Cook It. And you could use them to make healthy meals to make it easier on you. It creates a path 
of least resistance, right? So that's what we want to do. So just notice what changes you are wanting to make and how can you make it easier for yourself to do those changes, to have them really happen. Um, it can be very, very simple. You know, even just the idea of how many times a day do you walk through your kitchen and you're passing through and yeah, and then you pick something up on the way. <laughs> Is there another way that you can go through your house or you don't have to go through the kitchen or, you know, can you avoid going so many times during the day? Just noticing all these little things that you can set up in your house um, or in your, you know, environment that could help create these healthy habits for you. So that's what I've got today. I hope that you enjoyed this video or vlog, I guess we would call it, and I will see you very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.